Ricky Walden to break then in frame number six, a frame he urgently requires. Yes, Barry Hawkins got lucky with a fluke with his opening red at the start of that fifth frame, but how he capitalised. Another century, his second of the match. He's been in terrific touch, and he's just two frames away from a meeting with Ronnie O'Sullivan for a place in the semis of the Masters. And playing like this, he's got every chance of beating him as well. I mean, Ronnie, Ronnie wasn't a top, top last night. Wasn't really put under any pressure, was he, by no. an understandably nervy Rob Milkins making his Masters debut in front of a very partisan crowd. Yeah, he, he was the first to admit that, Robert, isn't he? I, t I didn't turn up. But hey, uh, Barry here, he's playing well enough to make it a classic. That's not to say that Walden isn't more than capable of fighting back. Not at all. Oh, there's the plant. I think that's been there since the break-off shot, but Ricky covered that one uh, oh, behind the yellow. Be a hell of a shot to get to it from there. <laughs> Might be playing the red to the middle, actually. Left on one of the three. No. Just depends where this red finishes. It's okay. Well, I say that. Barry might have a red to the middle here, actually. He can come back for the black. Well, here we go. If he knocks this in, knocks the black in, he could be away again. Ah. The danger here for Barry is that he's going to take the foot off the gas a little bit, and he cannot afford to do that because, you know, these guys are that good at getting back into matches. We've seen it so many times before, so you have to keep going, keep the pressure on. He'll be disappointed with that one. It wasn't a gimme, but he missed it by quite a distance, and given how well he's been stroking the balls right into the centre of the pocket this evening, you would have expected him to nail that one too. This red is on to the green pocket. It depends whether Barry fancies it or not. He will be leaving other reds on. At this stage, I would suggest just keep it tight, keep the pressure on, and keep uh, Ricky cold if he can. We haven't had anything resembling a scrappy frame so far. The longest of the match, just over 17 minutes. It's been racing along. High breaks in every frame couple of centuries and 80, two more and 50 or more. Great entertainment for a sizeable Ali Pali crowd. Well, that was quite a distance away. He hasn't covered this easy road, has he? I think he has. He's played it in such a way, actually, to possibly try and cover that one. Oh, there's the other one. Which is a thinner cut. No, he hasn't done, actually. He hasn't got away with that one. So, the first one. real good chance, then, for Ricky Walden for some time. Having said that, he missed that red to the left corner to make it 3-1. Mentioned that red in the Twelve. fourth frame, of course. Um, and Barry missed that brown to give Ricky another chance to call the frame back, but he's still got a bit to do now. And uh, it's getting closer to that uh, winning line as well for Barry. 15. 
15. Now, will he play on the loose red down there? Or he could a perfect angle on the green to go into the pack. Let's just hit those two reds right inside of the pink with pace. Here you go. Well, he's playing the brown. Who's choosing to play on that red? I'm surprised at that because he could have left that one down the table for a little bit of insurance in case he ran out of position. Right. I'm sure when you have the chance to attack the pack, you should take it early. He needs a good angle on one of the bolt colours here, or the blue though, to get into them. Twenty-one. Oof, I think he think yeah. thinks he that he, he missed that. Yeah. Thank you. I think that was a bad contact, actually. A little bit heavy. <coughs> Nearly missed it. Walden trying to avoid going four down with five to play. And that looks like and a break. 26. Didn't quite hit the pink flush on. So often when that happens, the cue ball ends up close to a side cushion. So it's proved. 26 point lead. Looks like he'll have to settle for that for now. Ricky Walden, 26. Well, a good visit, and also it's a good safety. He's brought the black into play. Excellent shot there. That's what he's going to do, really, more of. He's got to try and pressurise Barry here. And at the same time, when he does get the chances, score heavily. If he loses the next frame, or this one, I should say, he's at the point of no return. Hang on. Oh. It's just flicked the yellow on the way through there. Mm, he's got a pot on here. This, this, uh, this, just, just watch this. Just flicks off the yellow there. And there is a, a pot onto this left corner. Walden then with a useful 30 point advantage in a frame he badly needs well you can see some of this red that's just beyond the pink just clip off that one thin not hit it too thick because he'll push it red towards his left corner Oh, he's gone the other way and he's rattled the white. That's a poor shot. Well, it's probably it's his turn to have a little bit of luck, actually. He's got away with that one a little bit, although I think this red will go to the right middle. 
There's a little tricky one to the left middle. Imagine if Barry can pop that in and screw back for the black. Very little of the pocket to aim for, though. Mm. Well, if he pops this in and leaves the white roughly where it is now, Phil, I think uh, he'll be on the black, of course. I think this is worth a shout. It's an, an acute angle. Good hole for the pink. Has to be super accurate. Just caught the jaw. That was a good chance to get in. Perhaps Hawkins' level has just dropped a little. What a fine pot that was. Well, three open reds Seven. here, but then the hard work starts. You'll still need a, a couple more reds with colours to, uh, to get over the winning line. Does he play the blue? Does he try to nudge these two reds open near the top cushion? It's a risk. He's got the loose one down the table. That's the percentage shot, really, from the brown. But at this stage, you want to try and make it as simple as possible. Hmm, that wasn't clean. Depends where he goes this way now. I mean, he'll have a good angle on the blue once more. Will he try and notice these reds are open near the top cushion? Look at this. He nearly missed that. Alden doing the math there. There'll still be 75 remaining after this red. I just think, Phil, that it's worth playing the cannon into these two reds here on the top cushion, you know, like medium pace, because he could still play, he could finish on the left on one, and uh, it could open up the other two to the other corner. Let's just see how he goes about this. I think, I think this is worth a shout, really. Cannon, medium pace. There you go. Well played. He's opened things up. Could have been better. But I think that was the right shot at this stage. that well. Uh, it was a confident pot, wasn't it? He took the tougher red on, but it's opened up things now. Well, just black and red required. And this has been a very fine break from Ricky Walden, who really hasn't done a great deal wrong 35. this evening. 4-1 behind, and that's due largely to the excellence of Hawkins, but 36. he's showing that when he gets a chance, 
he can be dangerous. Well, you know, within half an hour or so, 20 minutes, it could only it could be 4-3. Pressure off now. The winning post well and truly passed. 43. Well, he's here in a great event. Good crowd in. He wants to show what he can do. Thanks. Good. 44. One. Yet another half 50. century in this free flowing, high scoring match. Fifty nine. Walden's second fifty plus break of the 60. contest. But this has really been. An excellent response to the disappointment of slipping 4-1 behind. Hawkins having fluked his opening red on his way to his second century, that 1-1-2. Well, he needs the blue off this red to make the ton. 68. That's why he's played on it to the corner. This could be the third century of the evening. It's been some good stuff here this evening. Mostly by Barry, but of course, uh, Bookie's looking to change that. Great responses, Phil. 75. Certainly is. Launched by that tough red into the right centre pocket after Hawkins, remember, had missed a tricky one into the opposite centre, which might have given him the chance to move 70. within one of victory. As it is, he's been pegged back, and he still has plenty to do to set up that meeting with O'Sullivan. A World Championship 82. final rematch, if it happens. Ricky Walden... We'll have other ideas. 87. Well, it'll be career century 161. The 16th this year. 93. Oh, this has been superb. Just what he needed, really. An even century from Ricky Walden. And the decibel levels are raised for what was a superb break. And a great response to slipping three frames behind once again he's cut that deficit to two Barry Hawkins is still the favorite he leads 4-2 but Walden is still in the contest